Another way to check your answers, or indeed your intermediate calculation steps, is to check the units, also called the dimensions. Any valid equation must have the same units on both sides, as otherwise if you change units it wouldn't work anymore. How do you do this checking? Well basically you break down every variable into its fundamental units, often mass, length and time, as it would have to be, and see if both sides match. Let me show you an example. Let's say we have this equation here, that acceleration is mg over root 1 plus v over c. Could this be correct? Well, let's look at the units. Acceleration, that's meters per second squared, so that's meters over seconds squared. And this side, mass is kilograms, g is meters per second squared, and you've got root 1 plus velocity, which is in meters per second, per second, right properly, and c is speed of light, also in meters per second. Okay, so the meters per second down here cancel, so the bottom is just 1 plus something with no units. So this all comes out as kilograms meters over second squared. So they don't match. They almost match. Uh, they both got the meters per second squared, but this side has a kilogram and that side doesn't. Therefore, this equation cannot be right. If you had a mass or some description on the bottom here, or got rid of the mass on the top, maybe it would be right. So it's giving you a hint as to how you might be able to fix this equation. But if you got this result, you'd have to go back and figure out why you got it wrong. Uh, mass can't be in there. So it's a very useful general process. A couple of hints. Um, sine, cosine, tangent, etc. are ratios. Um, you know, sine is opposite over hypotenuse and so on. Ratios have no units because whatever the you're measuring, the, the hypotenuse and the opposite, they're both in the same units and it cancels out. So sines and cosines you can ignore in this calculation. Likewise, angles have no unit. Again, an angle is actually a ratio um, of the tangent to the radius, so you don't need to worry about that. Now, there are some variables, like, for example, force and energy or power, say watts, which it's rather hard to remember the fundamental units for. But the way I do this is, I can't remember what the dimensions of force are, but I know that F equals ma, I know the units of mass, that's kilogram, and A, meters per second squared. So that's what units are, kilograms, meters per second squared. Likewise, power will work. I can use an equation like potential energy, mgh, and work out the units from that. So if you don't like to memorize these things, and I never like to memorize anything if I can avoid it, then you can just use some equation you know to work out the units.